Glory be to God. I believe that if you are watching this, you attended the Holy Ghost service yesterday. I know it was going to be a good, good one. I believe that was going to be a good time in God's presence. And I know that you have been blessed. I know that I will have, I will also be blessed because I'm sure I'm going to be there and I know that God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. So to the glory of God, we want to wrap up on this. And we said what you did before the day of remembrance is very important. But one thing we said, surely the day of remembrance will surely come and it will be a day for the wicked, a day of wrath. And for those that are loving and serving God, it will be a day of rejoicing. And I and we also said that if you can quickly do an audit on yourself, make correction before your day of visitation, your day of remembrance, it will do you a lot of good. A case of a man that refused to change. If you read Genesis chapter 35, verse 22, and I want to read it, Genesis 35, verse 22. The Bible says, And it came to pass when Israel dwelt in the land that Reuben went and lay with Bila, his father's concubine, and Israel had it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. The father had it. He was waiting for him to come and repent. He was waiting for him to come and apologize. He was waiting for him to come to feel, to feel bad was waiting for him to come and say, Sir, Daddy, this is what I did. I'm so sorry. Was waiting. Like God is ever waiting. He said, I knock the door. Whoever opened, I will come in and serve with him. Are you living in sin? Are you living the government of your own? Have you been doing things that you think nobody is seeing you? Have you done some wrong and you feel that you have escaped because nobody has talked about it, sir? Nothing is hidden under the sun. You might think nobody saw it. So, you see, sometimes the technology of CCTV always baffles me. And that tells me that indeed God is seeing everybody. If I have CCTV in my house, I can rewind. I can also save it in the cloud and go back to it any day. So if anybody has done something, and that is human, no, CCTV, just CCTV. I, I go to it and I see what you have done before. I can really recall it. So the same way. What you have done or you are doing right now, on one day is going to pay. And when it's going to pay, will it be evil or bad? That guy never go to his father to apologize. And the father was waiting until when it was too late. The Bible says in chapter 49, verse 3 and 4, the father cursed him. The father said he will not prosper. The father says, Ah, Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and my beginning of, of the, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power, unstable as water, thou shalt not excel. Can you imagine? Ah, uh -uh, why shall thou not excel? He said, Because you went up to thy father's bed and you defiled thou the he went unto my crotch. Sir, ma, I want to appeal to you. Don't think nobody has seen you. If there's any amendment you need to make, make it. On that day, Reuben could not do anything much again. He could not ask for forgiveness. Unfortunately for him again, even that day, he could have cried. Maybe that's why God showed mercy on Esau. Esau cried on his own day. And something happened for his good. Esau became blessed at the end. I want to appeal to you, please, make amendment before your day of remembrance will come. So that it will be a day of blessing and not a day of wrath. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Tomorrow in our church, is going to be Pastor Yia Deboi, our Father and the Lord, that the Geo ministering. It's Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving of November. God bless you.